This is July 13th, and this is an update on my butterfly garden. Over to the left, you'll see passion vine. And that is a host plant for the variegated fritillary. If you're further south, it's also host plant for the golf fritillary, the julia, and the zebra heliconian. Over here, some pussy toes, and that is for the American lady. This is Virginia snake root, Aristolochia serpentaria, and its host plant for the pipe vine swallowtail. And here we have Dutchman's pipe, Aristolochia macrophylla. The old name was Aristolochia durier. It is also host plant for the pipe vine swallowtail. Over here, I have willow, which is host for many things. A few of them would be the viceroy and the Red Spotted Purple, Morning Cloak. And this is the elm. I do have some in pots. They're very large pots and I overwinter them. Um, elm is host plant. I'm feeding it right now to the IOs. Um, it's host plant for many things. And this is choke cherry host plant for the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail and the Red Spotted Purple to name a few. And here is my small black um, walnut tree host plant for the Luna and this is a sweet gum and it's also host plant for the Luna and this is a small spice bush host plant for the spice bush swallowtail and this is a larger sweet gum host plant for the Luna moth and this is a sugar maple and it's host plant for many things but one of my favorites is a rosy maple and then as we enter into the garden back here, you see I have common hops and that's host plant for uh, the question mark and the Eastern comma. And st straight ahead, this is hop tree and it's host plant for the giant swallowtail. And then I do have nectar sources for the species to nectar on. And I also have nasturtiums and that's host plant for the cabbage whites. And I have red honeysuckle and it's host plant for the snowberry clearwing. And let's see, I have false nettle and that's host plant for the red spot, excuse me, the red admiral, the question mark, the Eastern comma, Milbert's tortoise shell. Um, this is my tulip tree and it's host plant for the Promethea. Oh, let's see, the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail. Then I have an oak tree and it is host plant for many things. I feed my um, Polyphemus that. Uh, let's see, over here, I have Prairie Willow, host plant, a few of the things would be um, Viceroy and Red Spider Purple, and then I have Rue over here, and this is host plant for Black Swallowtail and the Giant Swallowtail, and then I have some nectar sources here, and you can see I've already got some visitors nectaring on my, um, bee bomb here, and, um, it's a great nectar source. You can see that these Pipe vine swallowtails are just filling their little bellies right now. And here is Pearly Everlasting, host plant for the American Lady. And let's see what we have over here. Let's go to this part of the garden. And here we have lots of swamp milkweed, host plant for the monarch. And then I have tall verbena, a nectar source. Many species love to nectar on. This is my wild black cherry and a few of the things that lay their eggs on that are the red spotted purple and eastern tiger swallowtail. And then I have more swamp milkweed and I have hackberry, uh, which I'm feeding some of my aisles. That right now, it's also host plant for the Hackberry Emperor, the Tawny Emperor, the Snout, the East, um, Eastern Comma, and the Question Mark. Um, 
And what do we have here? We have a little bumblebee is having a little nectar right now. Um, let's see. And then I have, I have quite a bit of um, pearly everlasting host plant for the American lady. And then I have my pawpaw tree in hopes that one day the zebras Swallowtails will once again populate this area um, that is host plant for the zebra swallowtails. And then I have Joe Pie weed, which is a nectar source. And then I have a lot of fennel, and that's host plant for the black swallowtail. And here's another prairie willow, host plant for the red spider purple and viceroy. Then I have a great big spice bush that I keep in the back of my property. And that's for the Prometheus and the uh, spice bush swallowtails. And then I have stinging nettle, which is host plant for the question marks, the eastern commas, Milbert's tortoise shell. And then that one I keep in a pot so I can keep it under control. And then I have more false nettle here. And here I have wisteria, which is host plant for the silver spotted skipper. And then I have plantain, which is host plant for oh, Baltimore checker spot, the common buckeye, the painted lady. And then I have um, a, the common lilac, which is host plant for cecropia, promethia, eastern tiger swallow, tell to name a few. And there I have uh, the wild blue loop, um, yeah, wild, wild blue indigo, and that's host plant for the uh, wild indigo dusky wing. And then let's see, what do I have over here? Uh, nectar sources, nectar sources. Let's see, then I have a prickly ash, and that's host plant for the giant swallowtails. A little more false nettle and another Dutchman's pipe. And let's see. Then here I have some um, rough blazing star. It hasn't started to uh, flower yet. And that's a nectar source and more milkweed. And then I have some pentas, which is a nectar source. And then I have more false nettle here. And let's see, just a variety of different plants there. And then I have some white turtle head, a host plant for uh, the Baltimore checker spot. So that's just an update on um, my garden. So I just wanted to show you, um, oh, this is um, Mexi, oh, geez, oh, Pete. I hate it when I have senior moments. This is um, Tithonia, it's Mexican sunflower. All sorts of things love to um, nectar on that. So anyhow, I just wanted to give you an update on what's going on in my garden as of the day, July 18th. Okay, happy butterflying and mauving.